In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate a company's dividend yield. So you take a company's dividends per share and you divide it by the company's stock price. So let's say we had a company that paid out $2 of dividends per share. So if you owned 100 shares of the company's stock, you would get $200 of dividends. So we got $2 in dividends per share. And the company's stock price, let's say that that happens to be $50. So if you take this 2 divided by 50, you're going to get 0 0.04 or 4%. And so 4% would be this company's dividend yield. And what is that? Well, if you think about it, when you buy stock, okay, when you buy stock in a company, you're hoping for two things. You're hoping that, number one, the value of the stock will go up. We call that capital appreciation. So you bought it for 50. Maybe you're hoping it goes up to 60 over time or 70 and so forth. So you're hoping for capital appreciation. But you might also be hoping to receive some dividends. So this dividend yield is telling you the return on holding this particular stock forgetting about any capital appreciation. So it's like, okay, look, we're just gonna leave this aside and we're just gonna look at the dividends and say, what is the return on holding this stock? And it would be 4%. And you say, well, why, why would you care about that? Why don't you want the total return of the stock? Well, we do care about the total return of the stock. However, if you are an older investor, for example, and you say, look, I don't know how much longer I'm going to live. Uh, I'm in my 70s or I'm in my 80s and I want to maximize the amount of income that I receive from my stock investments, then you would want to invest in stocks that had a very high dividend yield. Okay, Some stocks don't pay any dividend at all right? because they're an early stage company and they're focused more on growth and the investors are thinking, oh, I, I'm going to get a lot of capital appreciation, the stock price is going to go up and so forth. But if you're older, you're more focused on, okay, look, I need to get income in the short term. So you might be focusing on firms that have a very high dividend yield. 